to remind. This is where all of your weekly updates will come from, our Zoom call information for every second and fourth Wednesday, our prayer call information for every first and third Wednesday, and your weekly newsletters. We love you and we're so excited to fellowship with you. Don't forget, everything you need to get plugged in is right here below the screen. See you later. Hey ladies. How y'all feeling? So look, I know we've been sitting in the house, not having anywhere to go or any reason to dress up. Quarantine, right? But look, I can't get my hair done either. I miss getting my nails done too. And some of y'all probably can't get your eyebrows done either. But that shouldn't stop us from dressing up for Jesus. Check out this video. Catch you ready, you up. It's the house! It's all right, man. I'm back up in the spot like Polka Dot. You know how I rock with that the shot. I hear him talking down and on my jaw. From the boot, I got this flow from WAP. Told y'all that I'm back. Oh, guess that all like that. Oh, guess I'm way too deep. Oh, deep inside my back. Oh, they lie to my face. Oh, stab me in my back. Oh, but I don't react. Oh, guess that don't like that. Can't find you on the map, oh Say that you a shooter, but I never seen a strap, oh Must be shooting bridges while you living in a shack, oh I don't need a thing, but I might pull up in a lack, oh Told y'all that I'm back, oh Guess that all like that, oh Guess I'm way too deep, oh Deep inside my back, oh Say that to my face, oh Stab me in my back, oh But I don't react, oh Guess that all like that, oh Special, I'm retarded, oh People gas me up like I be farted, oh Throwing shots cause they know I'm a target, oh I just hit my dance like my name Carter I got a girl from tech, oh I'm not who I be What's up everybody, it's Mr. Dre And I cannot let us forget How much fun we had when we're together Y'all remember that one time when we talked to Green Hawthorne How to do the wall? What about that one time when our vacation Bible school got turned into a revival? Up next, we have 
a moment of worship with Miss Natalie. So position yourselves, posture your heart, and get ready to receive what the Lord wants for you today. After that, we're going to continue our sermon series, Unshakable, with Pastor Vernon. This morning, I just believe that he is our healer. Hallelujah. We can trust in him with our whole hearts.
our God is a healer. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come together again for another week where we get to worship you and learn more about you virtually. We know that lives will be changed and that your word will infiltrate the hearts and minds of everyone who's listening. Lord, be with us today, and I pray that your word flows through my mouth so that you get the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So my daughter, recently, this past year, she went viral. I mean, all over social media. I mean, her video is one of the most recreated videos right now on TikTok. Here it is. So, I'm going to talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. That's too loud. Okay, sorry. Do it nicely. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. So, the other day, we come home and we find a package from YouTube, and it was a gift inside for Harlan because her video had been watched and viewed and shared over a million plus times. And so I told Harlan, I said, Harlan, you have a gift from YouTube. She said, ooh. So we opened up the gift. I give it to her, and here's what she said. Wow, Daddy, I'm so cool. I looked at her because I... Uh, thought about something. I said, Harlan, hold on. The first thing you should have said was, thank you, Jesus. She's three. I said, that's exactly how I responded. All my friends in the background was like, she's three. I said, I know, but this is the perfect time for her to learn how God operates. I believe that a big problem we're facing right now individually as a as a community as a nation as a world is we've forgotten that God don't like to share his glory Satan thought that he would partake in some of God's glory God kicked him out of heaven God does not like to share his glory. Reminds me of a lady one time, a young lady, and said, I don't believe God is hearing my prayers. I don't believe he's hearing my prayers because the Bible says to ask, and I've asked, and ain't nothing changing. I said, that's because the prerequisite for God to move on someone's behalf is not that they just pray. It's not that he just favors them. It's not that they have just been obedient. What moves God on a person's behalf is that he is going to get the glory from it. Everything that God does, he does to get the glory. He created the heavens and the earth. Why? Here it is. For his glory. He He created man. Why? Here it is. For his glory. Everything, not only did he create, but Jesus also created it for what? For him, his glory. The Bible says that when we get to heaven, we'll be shouting glory, 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 because Jesus wants the glory. You may be in some kind of a funk, or maybe um, you feel like God is not listening. Every miracle that we see in the Bible Jesus did it for his glory, not out of a favor or because someone just prayed. It was because he knew he would get the glory from it. Scripture says that the Holy Spirit does not even move on his own. He only moves when it's going to bring glory back to Jesus. I believe that if we could give God the glory in everything that we do, everything that we have, I believe that we will see the hand of God move in this world, in our individual life, in a way that would blow our minds. I think right now in our homes, we just need to start saying, thank you, Jesus, for random reasons. Maybe nothing positive has happened today. Well, watch this. Just start saying, thank you, Jesus. Just because you're saying, thank you, Jesus, you might see the hand of God do something in your life. I want to talk to you who are maybe sick or facing a challenging time right now in your life. I know you're praying. I know you want to be healed. You want to be saved. You want to be delivered from this chaotic season. The 
one step that you could take for the hand of God to move in your life could simply be you acknowledging him. You saying, thank you, Jesus. So my challenge for you today, at least three times a day, I just want you to break out. Whether you're in front of family, friends, on social media, whatever. And I just want you to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three times, just like that. Here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may not know why you're saying thank you, Jesus, right now, but I want you to say it. Because remember, it's not so much that you pray or that he favors you. It's that he's going to get the glory from your life, from your healing, from your deliverance. I love you and God loves you. He created you for his glory. So anything that's his, he takes care of. We have to remember that we belong this nation belongs to him. You belong to him. Let's pray. Lord, we heard your word today. We get it. We understand that it's the glory you care most about. How are you going to get the glory from our lives? That's what you care about. So Lord, this day moving forward, I pray that we as an individual, city, community, and nation, we just start thanking you for who you are. We just start giving you the glory, the praise, and the honor throughout our day because that's what you deserve. That's when the real healing is going to take place, when you start getting the glory because you're not going to share it with nothing and nobody. We get it, Lord. We thank you. We praise you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.